Yo, 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 citizens of the Shaft. I am Naked Zombo, and today we're just doing a small preview of what's to come to Ark with Patch 259. You haven't heard of that one, have you? Because once again, Wildcard loves to keep secrets from us and give us a little tease every once in a while. A huge majority of the content for the game is now finished, and the release date for Ark is getting closer and closer with each passing day. So the devs are busy working on good old optimization, fixes that tons of armchair game developers on Steam have complained about in their reviews, fixes lag, rubber banding, FPS drops, texture pop-ins, all that good stuff. But while they're busy with that, of course they're gonna sneak in some goodies here and there like this super cool Tapahara tech saddle that they posted on the Instagrams. Finally, a tech saddle for a flying animal and it's one of the most maneuverable creatures in the game. Seems to work just like the rest of the tech saddles and I think it'd be pretty awesome to see a saddle that can launch missiles or even have a carpet bombing function. As far as other bug fixes and optimizations go, Animals will consume food on a natural rate when they are in stasis, and babies will now also consume less food. This update is scheduled for later tonight on PC at around 8 p.m. Eastern, which is about 45 minutes from now, but you know how ARK is with their release times, and will hit consoles at a later date, most likely within a week or two. There are still other secrets to be found in this next patch, and the devs should update the patch notes pretty soon. That is all I have for you guys right now. Just wanted to give you a quick heads up on what's to come here very soon. Leave us a comment, let us know what you think about flying creatures with laser beams, and don't forget to pound that freaking like button. Like and subscribe. I am Naked Zombo, and I will see you in the next video.